First reading, a reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 1 to 7. John said, An angel showed me the river of life giving water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the street. On either side of the river grew the tree of life that produces fruit. Twelve times a year, once each month, the leaves of the trees serve as medicine for the nations. Nothing accursed will be found anymore. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and His servants will worship Him. They will look upon His face, and His name will be on their foreheads. Night will be no more, nor will they need light from lamp or sun. For the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. And the Lord, the God of prophetic spirits, sent his angel to show his servants what must so happen soon. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is the one who keeps the prophetic message of this book. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 21, verses 34 to 36. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkardness and the anxieties of daily life and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times, and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent, and to stand before the Son of Man. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Today is the last day of the liturgical year, my brothers and sisters. And therefore we end one liturgical year and we begin tomorrow a new liturgical year, the first Sunday of the Advent. But we have no fear because the Lord is the beginning and the end. He becomes the Alpha and the Omega. We begin with Him and we end with him. He's our destination, my brothers and sisters. As we have come to the end of yet another liturgical year, on a day like this, the Lord is inviting us to be vigilant. You know, my brothers and sisters, in all our churches, after this Easter attack, we continue to have vigilant groups, groups of people who are vigilant. When the Mass is going on in the churches, when the people are flocking together with the priests celebrating their liturgy, there are others who are going around, you know, with their vigilant eyes, looking for the enemy. The Lord is inviting us to have the same eyes, my brothers and sisters. Because the enemy, the evil one, is working hard to destroy the image of God, the likeness of God that is there in your heart. Yes, you are a child of God. You are created in His image and likeness. And remember, there is this enemy waiting at the door, waiting and waiting to destroy the beauty of your life the sacred nature of your life, your beautiful relationships. Unfortunately, we have not yet identified 
the real enemy in our lives. Sometimes husband thinks his enemy is his wife. The wife says, my enemy is my husband. And there are many others who believe, who have understood that their enemies are their neighbors. Singhalis think that Tamils and Muslims are their enemies. This is this is the issue, my brothers and sisters. We have only one enemy, and that is Satan. Satan. It is he who makes us enemies. And therefore, if you recognize and accept Satan as your only enemy, you will be able to fight the right battle. Otherwise, you will be fighting a wrong battle. In vain your anger, in vain your power, in vain your, your energy because you have been fighting a wrong battle. Be vigilant, be vigilant. Open your eyes and recognize the real enemy. The Lord will help you in your battle. Jesus, reveal to us the presence of the real enemy and help us in our battle against him. Amen.